Hello friends, this is Joy Banerjee from AI Caddy Support and in the last video what we have done is we have installed the Turbonomic appliance and we have done the initial setup. So before I jump in, I, I thought let's let's before building a VMware uh, vCenter and adding to this particular appliance, uh, why don't we uh, upgrade this particular appliance? Okay? So I'm not sure, this is uh, this is a free license which I'm using for 30 days and um, they have a new release which I can see okay uh, release notes where is it okay yeah you can see this is the new release node which says they have launched the 5.9 update okay from this particular URL you can download the release uh, package which is the offline package I've already you can see I've already downloaded it and if I open this location and it's it's about uh, 700 meg 6, 662 uh, 700 meg so what we need to do is we need to upgrade this so I will tell you what is the upgrade procedure for this appliance turbonomic appliance okay to upgrade turbonomic from 5.8 to 5.9 I will show you what are the steps how you need to do it okay so let's jump into it so now you can see we have in the last video we have built our appliance and it is up and running with this particular console and what we need to do is to update that I need to go to a specific URL okay so this is my IP which says like 192.168.0.8 here I need to type update.html so when I once I type this it's give you a different um, console uh, where I can put my administrator ID we have uh, reset it our uh, this IP um, password okay and I will hit authenticate so now I can see uh, this is authenticated okay and uh, we have different options okay so we can take the configuration backup before we just do this thing we can take the configuration backup as well so if I click download here and it, you can see this is a backup and I have saved this and you can see this backup is saved so this is very simple the backup is about 252 uh, KB that is done so what we will do is uh, we will <coughs> apply a offline offline update okay this is our task so before updating we have taken the backup now we need to apply the offline update so this is the option which I have selected I've authenticated with my administrator ID now we need to choose the file okay so I need to go to this location I will select this and I will open this okay so this will uh, this will really um, now we need to uh, we have selected this file and we need to click upload okay I just need to check that all things are running or not so I will click upload okay so now you can see the process is started and slowly and gradually we are able to upload it and that's good so it's very simple process and once it is done then there will be a different process which will be initiated you will see in just in front of you so let's wait for a um, few uh, minutes this upload will complete already we have gone through uh, 40 percent so let's wait and watch so it is still in progress so if you um, have any questions you can put out into the comment section I'm happy to answer them and if you like this video just hit the like button and please subscribe our channel so that you can see and get the notifications when when we are launching new videos like this okay so now you can see it is done and whatever the process it is going to uh, proceed you can see upload process so logs will be showing up here whatever the actions have been taken okay you can see starting uh, the update extract so this is happening and you just need to scroll down and down and down the logs will move forward you can see the it, it shows that how the things are running and <coughs> determining the first mirrors then it is done the dependencies are resolved okay the package repository size it is checking them upgrading the seven packages and it is doing it one by one you can see 
so it gives you uh, each and every step what it is doing so it is very easy to identify where um, where is the stuck up point in case you stuck somewhere So you have seen there is there was a notification which says action is completed successfully. So it was very quick and you can see at the update it says complete. The update installation is completed successfully. Okay. So what you can do is you can do a control A, control C and um, into the notepad you can really just copy this log so that you can review um, later as well. Okay, so it says that the action successfully, uh, um, the task is completed successfully, that is fine. So what we can do is I can, what I will do is I will close this uh, page, I will minimize this and I would like to log in here. And do a reboot. So once the reboot is done, then I will try to reconnect and see uh, instead of 5.8, it should uh, show up as 5.9 now. Okay, it is up now. Let me give it a try. So now you can see it says 5.9. Initially it was 5.8. So we have updated it successfully and let me try to log in. For the first time it will take some time, uh, I've seen after the upgrade it, it takes time to really log you in. So do not need to worry, just wait for a few minutes, it will log you in. Okay now you can see it is logged in, it took a little bit of few minutes as after the upgrade it takes it. I've seen it in real environment as well. It's not like that we have 4 GB of RAM. I've seen in the real environment it is having 16 GB of RAM, but still uh, it took about few minutes, about five to uh, six or seven minutes to really log in after the upgrade. This is the first login, the, the, this is, and um, this is it. This is how you upgrade Turbonomic Appliance from 5.8 to 5.9 and if you have any questions just shoot out in the comments and please subscribe our channel and do like this particular video if you like it and if you have any questions anytime just shoot up the comments and we'll be happy to answer them. So this is Joy Banerjee signing off from AI Caddy Support.